Hey guys, uh, just wanted to show you something pretty uh, pretty interesting I found out about uh, a few weeks ago, and I just finally actually implemented. Um, there's a there's a uh, separate build of Doom Builder as you can get uh, that will allow you to see slopes and everything in the 3D mode. Um, so what you'll do is you'll just have to go to this site here. Um, I'm gonna have a link for this in uh, in the description so you can download it. Um, some of you may need this DLL file for it to work. Um, simple Google search will do it. It's uh, msvcr100.dll. It's a uh, Microsoft Visual C redistribution DLL. Um, there's tutorials on how to uh, do all that nonsense, so I'll I'll leave that up to your own research. But you'll just have to download this 7-zip file here. And what I did was I once it downloaded, I just moved it to my Doom Builder 2 folder so that it was already there. Just open it up and extract everything over top of what you already have installed. So to make sure you already have the newest version of DB2 and then extract the contents of the archive into that folder and overwrite everything. And then in order to get it set up, I'll just uh, show you real quick. Let me just start a blank map. Um, so what we'll do is if you go to preferences, right? Go to controls, then scroll down. See here visual mode W. With this new configuration, you'll see GZ Doom visual mode. So we're going to set that to W and we're going to clear this one. And we'll hit OK. So now the control is set. So now we're going to go to our game configurations. And for whichever one you're working with, I'm going to be working with Z Daemon. If you can do this for Doom and Hexen format, normal Z Doom style, and all that fun stuff. So, I'm going to go to this and then go to modes. Alright? So, what we're going to do is find uh, GZ Doom visual mode. We're going to have a checkbox in that and scroll down and find the regular visual mode from Doom Builder and uncheck that. So then hit OK. Now that that's set up, what I'm going to do is just make a nice big room here. Place our player one start just because. And let's make a big fucking ramp. Alright, so what we can do here is let's move this up. And then what we're going to do is give this the slope. Ah, I did the wrong one because it's facing the wrong way. So if I flip that, so now you can see it's sloped in the editor. So you can see how things will look in game without actually going in and testing it. Um, this is extremely useful. Um, and just to show you, um, I'll give you a quick preview of uh, my new King of the Hill map which I put together just today actually. Um, it still needs a few tweaks here and there and I still gotta add some detail in some different spots but uh, this is my new King of the Hill 3v3 map. Uh, it's a lot larger than my other ones because I wanted the time the travel time to getting to the hill right here uh, to be a little bit more but you can see that the that the slopes in visual mode are just a, a, a great friggin cue see how everything's going like right here you can even see where all the armor's at and all that fun stuff um, and then especially like out here since these are actually little two pixel sectors to create the illusion that there's actually a separate blue thing at the top you know just for some some nice visual representation um, it really came in handy when getting these lined up properly so that they have the same angle and everything uh, so it really 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 came in came in handy to have this uh... the slopes in visual mode but that's pretty much it once that's set up whenever you use that particular configuration um, you'll go into GZ Doom editing mode now another thing to remember though is if you decide to ma map for another uh, source port or whatever, make sure you go back into preferences, go back to your controls, 
clear W from GZ Doom video visual mode and go back to regular visual mode unless you want to use this mode for other source ports which I would recommend in which case just go back in your game configurations go to whichever one you want to work with click the modes tab just like before click your GZ Doom video mode and uncheck the Doom Builder visual mode and that's it once that's set up you can enjoy the world of slopes without having to go in and test your map every goddamn time um, I, like I said I mean this really came in handy when when putting this map together so uh, hopefully um, especially for some of you newer mappers out there who aren't necessarily quite used to slopes um, this could be something that would really help you understand how they work uh, specifically, because that line def action can be a bit of a bastard sometimes. There are certain certain ways to manipulate it to your liking. Like for example, um, for the longest time, I really could not figure out how to get my slopes to do this, where they slope down and still leave the flat face. But it's all just a matter of which way uh, your line def facing, as well as uh, which direction you're sloping, either front or back. Um, and as you can see, I use that same trick again on uh, these little tidbits right here. So, yeah, definitely give it a shot. Um, it really should help you out, whether you're a seasoned mapper or new to the game. Uh, it should really help you out. Until next time.